Hey guys, just wanted to do a little chat today. Um, just relaxing out here on the porch. I got my my trusty dog out here. Watson, Watson. I'm not sure if you can see him in the screen, but hope you can, because for some reason on the new video on um, on um, the Apple phones, it won't let me switch. I don't know how to switch the 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 camera around to the other side of the phone. If anybody knows how to do that, put it down in the comments because I'm still trying to figure it out because there's no little thing to do it. But anyway, guys, as you can see, this is, that's, I mean, I'm sitting in the Adirondack chair. I'll show you. Ah. Let's see the, I got an extra large Adirondack chair. <laughs> That guy, I don't think he got the size. Not that I'm a big guy or anything like that, because I'm really not. But um, I told the guy I wanted a, a, a you know, a decent size Adirondack chair. He made it huge. It look, looks like it's like a giant or something like that. And when a Filipino sits in here, it makes him look really tiny. But um, I just want to have a like a quick chat today, guys. I, I you know, just to, I haven't talked with you guys for a long time. All the subscribers and stuff like that, and all the people at home and everything. Um, one of the things I want to talk about was I, I noticed something really cool the other day while I was at the mall. And um, I was walking into the mall and I seen this lady holding her phone out like I'm holding my phone right now to film this. And <coughs> she was talking in sign language and she's talking to somebody like on FaceTime or something like that or Messenger, you know, where you can see the person or whatever. But it was kind of cool, it was kind of fascinating because she wasn't using her voice on the phone, she was using sign language on the phone. And I never actually thought about, you know, somebody using um, sign language on a phone before. I always thought like, you know, when people were deaf, they use chat or something. But, you know, it's so much more personal now that we have Messenger and FaceTime and stuff like that. Well, I don't have Messenger, nor do I have Facebook, but that's a story by itself, but anyway, um, you know, it's, it's just pretty cool. You know, it's that deaf people have that choice now that they can, they can talk with sign language on the phone, which before they couldn't, they had to chat or type and stuff like that. And it's just kind of slow, you know? Um, I'm think I, I, another thing I want to talk about guys was, um, I'm thinking about going over to, to Tal. Um, and I wanted to go to the top of the, the top of the mountain that overlooks Tal, the town there, and I'm thinking about doing a video maybe within the next couple of weeks, possibly, if I can get my girlfriend to go with me. It's just a short jeepney ride away, um, and film what it looks like now, because it's supposedly mostly cleaned up and it's reopened for the most part. Um, up on top of the hill, it is on top of the mountain where it's really cool too, which is nice. So it's, you go over there on a hot day, it's beautiful. But anyway, I wanna go there. I wanna do a video of it, um, see what it looks like, see how grungy it looks, because usually it takes a, a couple of good rains to clean all of that out. Sometimes it makes it worse. Um, but I heard that the, the town did a really good job cleaning it up, but we will see. So I, I do wanna videotape that and go over there and do a, a um, maybe even a live video from over there if, if, if I can, um, depending on how my how it works over there, but we'll see. You know, if we can do live, we'll go live. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do a video over there, hopefully this week. So um, I might go over there either with my girlfriend or with, with, with JP, my friend, and we'll take JP, maybe JP will wanna go over there because my girlfriend doesn't seem too keen about going there because of the heat. Um, actually, I don't mind the heat. Today is actually a beautiful day out here, and yeah, it's a little warm, but I kind of like it. You know, maybe because as you get older, the heat feels better to you because your body runs cooler or something. I'm not sure, but like the heat doesn't bother me like it used to when I was younger. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about that. A lot of people have been asking me about about Tal. Um, if Tommy Duggan's watching this, um, Tommy. Um, Try to get in touch with me through my email address. If you don't have it, leave it a uh, thing in the comment section and I'll give you my email address. I'm not sure if you're watching my videos on here or not, 
Um, Tommy Duggan lives back in, in Massachusetts and he runs a newspaper back there and him and I usually talk and we've gotten cut off because of Messenger and Facebook, you know, cut taking me off and everything. And Tom's been taken off a few times too, but I've been taken off permanently and nobody knows why. <coughs> All I know is that they just took me down. You know, there was no real warning or anything. I, I just got taken down. And I thought it was going to be like a 30 day thing or something like that. And the 30 days has come and gone. Um, I still tried to join several times. As soon as it sees my face on there for anything on, you know, if you use it on Messenger or anything like that, it just takes me down. Their, their AI is really, really good. Um, really, really good now. Um, they're, they're, they're taking down a lot of second accounts and stuff like that. And I don't have a second account. And I've tried opening another account it just keeps on taking me down every time it's kind of like a pain in the butt but anyway guys i just want to do like a quick chat you can see my my parsley here see and you can and you can see over there that's the cabana and you can see down there you can see the uh, pineapple i think and you can see my pine tree i got a whole whole bunch of pineapple you can see my dog again and Anyway, guys, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about that. Um, if, if any of you guys want me to do some more videos up in Manila, let me know. Those don't seem to be that popular for some reason. I, I do the, the street versions. JLB does way better on, on um, the street stuff because I don't have the, um, I don't know, maybe... He just talks while he goes along and it makes it interesting. And I'm not a talker when I'm walking usually, you know. Um, I will talk to people, but I just don't talk to strange people that much. It's just me, you know. Um, I will talk to some people. You know, I did do a street video in Tracy that did pretty well. But I, I, I know some of those people. I walk by them every day, so I feel comfortable. In Manila, I'm not as comfortable. I do, I do chat up a lot of people and stuff like that, but on camera... I just don't do it as, as, like JLB does. He just he just does it the best. JLB does really really good on on his videos, you know. And I will say that uh, I give him that credit, you know. Um, but if anybody wants me to do, I'm gonna do. I know uh, Rick Heiser out there, one of our subscribers, is, says he wants to, me to do more food videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna Rick. I'm gonna try to do those. And also Rick, remember, I'm not on Facebook, not on Messenger. Uh, if you want my number so we can talk or anything, just, you know, send me a, an email. If you need my email, put it in the comment section. Anybody need any information, like, to get in touch with me or anything like that, just just ask me for my email. I'll give it to you, and you can you can email me. Okay, guys, if you guys have any ideas or anything like that, just put it in the comment sections. If you need any help with anything, you know, I'm always willing to help. I did, I did four years of research before I came to the Philippines, okay? <clears throat> and I had come to the Philippines a couple times before that and researched it way back before people were even doing that the philippine thing you know way back early early and in, in, well most people weren't doing there was a few people over here but back in like the 80s i was coming over here and you know i i can i can talk to you on you know tell you just about everything over here i i mean i have i think i probably have one of the best budgets and i'm not trying to you know talk from an egotistical standpoint or big head or whatever you know like i'm just saying i think i have one of the best budgets over here for people um and if you need help coming up with a budget and you're coming over here um if you give me a rough amount of how much you're coming over here with i can i can write up a budget for you a rough budget what it's going to cost you and what you should have on your budget um and i'm probably going to do a budget video pretty soon about that um because budgets have I've changed my budget a little bit for several reasons and it's a little bit higher okay um, I changed it because of all the people that I see over here passing away okay um, I think you need to put aside a good solid 150 200 dollars a month just for emergencies for death put it aside someplace in a bank account or cash hidden away somewhere um, or just make sure somebody has some way to get to it if you get sick or you die 
um, especially the sickness part, but you also need to get Phil Health. I highly recommend getting Phil Health. It's cheap, it's like $300 a year for, I think it's like three, three, I don't have it, but I, because I have, I have too many safety nets already and um, I'm still thinking about getting it though. But anyway, um, yeah, Phil Health, Pacific Cross or some sort of other insurance would be great, okay? Um, those are the things you definitely wanna look into for sure. You know, um, those are some of the things I added. There's, there's a couple of other things I added on there. Um, I put stocks on, on mine because of the fact that um, I think stocks are a good investment. I think right now, I think, I think with the stock market and a little bit of a slump, it's a great time to buy right now. I mean, we're in, let's see, what, March, March 2020 when I'm filming this. And it's down a little bit, but it's coming back. It's bouncing back and it's a great time to buy right now. And I, th I think we're gonna, you know, we might dip into a recession because of this coronavirus thing, because it, start, it seems to be taken off every day more and more, but I don't think it's gonna hurt the stock market that much. Uh, it, it, it is right now, but I think that's gonna go away. All those things usually go away after a while. Something happens and it just, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I, I think people are starting to realize, you know, it, that it's, it's not as bad as they thought, but, in Iran, they're getting like a 5.5% um, death rate, which is pretty high. And I'm not sure what the United States death rate is. I, I think it's pretty high too. But in China, they're, they're, they're playing it down like it's only like 2% or something like that. or something. I, I, believe that's, I believe that's what it was. But then I heard on another, another that, that's what the state was saying for a while over there. But then I heard somewhere else it was like 7%. So I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of funky news coming out about the coronavirus um if you do get sick from it like I, I i did a video on this before i would definitely whatever the doctors give you i would take that and i would also take some virgin coconut oil you know every day probably two to four tablespoons a day um probably not the greatest tasting stuff I've, i haven't tasted it yet but um hey if, if they're saying it works you know a lot of people are saying that and if it works, it works. Anyway, guys, I just want to have a short chat with you guys and just say hi. And, you know, we haven't really had a talk. Usually I'm doing my regular videos and, and just, you know, shooting out the information. Just wanted to have this short chat today and just say hi and, you know, just just sit and relax and talk, you know. Uh, leave any comments or anything. And if you want, if you think you'd like to see more chats on here, we can do more chats too. Okay, um, put that also in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the chats because uh, I, I think I might do them. I was thinking about doing like one chat a week or something like that. Just just to have a talk every every week, you know, with you guys, with my subscribers out there. I'm getting a lot of subscribers and I'm kind of glad I'm, I'm getting those. Um, I'm not in it for the money. I really, at this point, I just, I gave up on the money aspect of it. And I'm just kind of doing it more for fun now. So it's more relaxed. Um, I don't have to follow any standards or anything like that. And if I do get money, hey, that's great, you know. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll donate it to my church or whatever, you know, and that's, that's the way I'll do it, you know. But anyway, God bless, guys. Take care. Um, be sure to give me thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever you wish to give me. Um, also, um, be sure to press subscribe, guys, and we'll talk to you later.